Welcome everybody to the Nerd Tavern Podcast. On this week's show, we got some pretty big news as long as a Destiny 2 leak and Evil Within. And also on some questions, we got some fun questions in. But as always, we do have guests. Unfortunately, Jeffrey is still not with us. Um, but we have uh, Ghouls here with you. With us, I should say. I don't know why. Hey guys, what's up? And then we have Matthew. Yo, what's up? All right, all right. And also on the show, guys, there was I. We did have one more topic to fill, so I decided to do something since it is Nerd Tavern. Uh, I went with a Death Note live action film that is supposedly going to be debuting on Netflix on August. So I guess we'll go ahead and kick that off. I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer, but this looks pretty fucking terrible. <laughs> I've actually heard about this movie for a long ass time. Well, just so everybody's clear, there are two Death Note films being made. The Japanese version and the one on Netflix. Well, the net, but the one in the Japanese one's still coming to the U.S., correct? I believe so, but I want to put your, I want to really have my hopes up, honestly. But this Netflix one, it looks so fucking cheesy Bad. and just, I don't even know the words <laughs> to describe it. It's going to be super predictable. And I like how they describe Death Note as a international phenomenon. That's the best way they described it. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Uh. You know, it's just one of those live-action anime films, you know? They always have a bad rep. Most of them are shit. I mean, look at Fists of North Star, or G-Savior, or, oh god, Speed Racer. <laughs> <laughs> and Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh, oh god, Dragon Ball Evolution. I know Dragon Ball Evolution, uh, yeah. is get, like, it deserves to be hated, but, like, it came out of a bad time because the people who are doing, like, that crew, like... Writing everything were were um during a ri- was during a riot, so nobody actually worked on the fucking dialogue or any, or any of the story. The- so they didn't really give it that much shit. I think this is legit. Is gonna be possibly like just one of the worst things to watch. I I'm I want it to be good. I just I don't think it will, <laughs> but. Netflix is one of those companies that even with something that's dumb can make it pretty great. Mm, yeah. I am curious to see oh, how the yeah. Shinigamis are going to look, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure going to look extremely cheesy of how the prosthetics are going to be. Oh, I wonder if the I wonder if they're not even going to like. Oh, they're see- probably just doing CGI. I, I see. That's what I was thinking. What happens if they yeah, try to do it, like, right. real life, though, and have just, like, a dude with, like, just really spiky hair and his, his skin's gray and he just has, black black clothing on? <laughs> no, if they're going to do it like, if they're gonna yeah. do it like a live action or like an actual pe- person, go with prosthetics. I know it's a fucking dead form, but come on. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, I, I want it to be good so bad, but I just know in my heart of hearts it's going to suck. Because mm-hmm. Death Note was the reason I started yeah. to watch anime. Because I love Death Note. But I do. It just isn't going to be good, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. But then again, it's a live action anime film. They never. They never turn out well. <laughs> It's funny that you speak of films because we'll talk about a films later in questions, and it's a funny. It, it, we'll talk about that here in a second. I, it off. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and move on from this because there is. Um, you guys know me and Ubisoft. We don't get along whatsoever. I don't. I hate them with a passion. Oh and, yeah. And so. They decided, you know, after the debacle that was the Assassin's Creed movie, what can we do? Let's make a TV show. Yeah. I. Oh, yeah. 
there's no network to my knowledge that has signed off on this, but they are doing a TV show. And yeah, this is gonna just fucking end horribly. I mean, I I don't know. Um, I I still want to get a group of friends that have, or just people that have never played Assassin's Creed and watch the movie and see what they thought of it. Um, yeah. Yeah. You can, yeah. Because it's like they're gonna actually like the movie, considering, but. It's because it's like Power Rangers. If you guys saw today's video, uh, well, the Saturday, the day that we're filming this, I filmed also the Power Rangers review and then directly posted it. Like, a lot of people give the film shit if they liked Power Rangers as a kid. I really didn't do too much of Power Rangers. So I just saw the film and thought, it's not that bad. Mm-hmm. But this just... Oh my god, it's got my blood boiling. Because apparently they're going to do a game this year too, and all this other shit. Oh, really? Yeah, they got that Assassin's TV. Creed Empire, and then they're doing this TV show on top oh, of god. it. That's not going to fly. And then they're trying to write a sequel to that shit movie. In case you guys oh, like, understand. hey, remember that Game like report? That these do not work. None of this works. None of this works. <laughs> Assassin's Creed is dead. Nobody wants it. Yeah, it's like it has been relevant for like what four years. All Ubisoft does is push it down your throat, and you like it. Peep fans just say, "Give me more of b bare bone shit," because... and they keep. Shoving that half-assed assassin's... work. It's Assassin's Creed, you know. It's one of the most popular video game franchises in the past ten years or so. I mean, that's really the only explanation as to why I think this will make money. And then, point. on top of it all... I'm just saying this. The one year that a game didn't come out, that Ezio collection came out, and they fucked that up. How do you fuck up a co how do you fuck up a collection, a port? I don't know, ghouls, but they it's basically like the dude's face you know how like Mass Effect Andromeda, I don't even want to bring this up, but you know how everyone's giving the shit for like the facial uh. animations? Yeah, I've seen that. Like, who fucking cares as long as the game's fucking fun. <laughs> um, but that happened so much. And, like, Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 2 was, like, the big one that was really fucked. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's not a pretty sight. If you're, oh, man, if you're, I remember that fucking shit. if you're an Assassin's Creed fan, please leave why you, why you are enduring this franchise anymore, and why you continuously buy it. Cause I, I didn't even buy, I didn't buy Unity Day One. I don't think I bought Syndicate Day One either. I think I waited for like a Black Friday sale. I think on Unity. No, wait, I didn't wait on Unity. I think I bought Unity like maybe a week or two afterwards, but I did it. I just waited on Syndicate for a sale. I think I waited for Christmas or something. So that way, if I got if the game was shit, I didn't buy it. Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and move on to I guess another leak. Um. Uh, we'll save um. We'll save Evil Within, I guess, for um, last. We'll save those two leaks. But as we reported on last week, um, or I think maybe the week before, I'm not entirely certain, Outlast 2 is officially back in Australia after fans were very... Australia was... Or Australia fans were very upset of the way... Um, Australia was... Um, Handling a video game. Um, 
Uh... Yeah, if you guys didn't know what happened, I'll just refresh you. Is that there's sexual violence, a.k.a. rape, in Outlast 2. Uh, Australia said we didn't want it. And then now fans got... I'm probably explaining that, but what, what do you mean by rape in the game? Because they might get the wrong idea. Oh, sexual violence... No, meaning that the main character is the one who gets raped. Yes. You And you play as a, a gentleman, at least from the demo. So, yes, a dude gets raped. Um, which is weird, but it it it's there. I understand if you want to protect people from seeing this kind of shit, but my god. This actually just, I kind of want to bring this up, but I am so sick and tired of companies and countries censoring everything because, oh, this offended me. You know? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, ever, I mean, fuck, man, I mean, eh. Especially nowadays, it's like they, they're gonna be, what I call the the outrage culture. They basically just go ahead and get offended over every single little thing, and it just annoys me to no end. And you know, it's it's like that. It reminds me of the. Uh, it's not as extreme, but it reminds me of the uh, JonTron situation that's going on right now. Oh God, John yes. Said some shit said some shit, and uh, it got miscontorted by people, and so Platonic Games removed his voice from ukulele. I mean, I understand Platonic wants to do that to protect their image, but my god, you, they didn't have to do that at all. People were going to buy the game, regardless if John's <laughs> there or not. If someone it was so bought her about John's views that they wouldn't buy ukulele, there was a problem, not John. I mean, of course you have them fun. censoring shit. At that point, I mean, if you weren't gonna buy the game over JonTron, then you don't then care enough really it. that much about the game. No, you just no, you only, and you know, people are actually like, "Good, glad he's that racist piece of shit's out of the game." It's like you don't get the bigger picture here. I've seen the shit JonTron said. It may be kind of misguided, but it wasn't racist. But of course, that that's what happens. Same with Colin Moriarty. Thing I've, I've heard. Same with PewDiePie. Heard it. It's like a, it's the same with PewDiePie with the whole Nazi shit. And it's the same with Colin Moriarty when he made that joke on International Women's Day. He yeah. People are so easily offended. And I like and I don't even like no to get involved difference. in this type of shit, but people for real. At least in this Outlast 2 scenario, it's a video game. I actually retweeted this again. Um, uh, of course, people, when, when I guess people think that if we see this, we're going to imitate it. Does Madden ever make people want to become a football player? I uh, no. <laughs> Does Call of Duty make me want to become a shooter? No. So why the really fuck would Outlast yeah. Two make us want to rape someone? <laughs> because it's that age-old. Oh, video games make me do this. Video games make me do that. It's been this way since Columbine, and it's getting really tiresome. I wish people educate themselves, but they refuse not to. You know. And this just goes for Honestly, pretty much everything. Like... And Honestly, then, I feel you know... like if they took away video game violence, I would actually become more violent. Yeah. And then, and then of course, not only just violence, but there's also sexism going on. And, you know, for anybody who wants to kill their brain cells, go watch a Anita Sarkeesian video. Yeah. And I. And again, Holy we should man. try. Try and. Try to go through that without wanting to shoot your fucking head off. But getting back to, like, this main point again, I get, like, not wanting children to see this. I absolutely 100%, 1,000% get it. It has a, 
It has an M rating for Damn a reason, shit. and I'm nuts. But that's the that parent's decision. You can't, sh you can't, like, once you become 18, 19, you can't sh shield them from problems that happen in the world. Because they're supposed to already know that that shit exists in the world, so they don't have a fucking... Yeah. Like, yeah, fucking why are you trying to Surprise attack protect... about that's actually happening. Why are you trying to protect... Like, you can't protect the shit from kids forever. Kids are eventually gonna find out. Kids are even more violent than when I was their age. Fucking hell. Yeah. Fucking so kids are more violent. Screaming at his mother. Kids are more violent on with, with online video games. What the fuck? Most times I would encounter a squeaker on Xbox Live back in the day. Oh mm. God, the next 360, the 360 era on fucking COD. Jesus fucking Christ. And now, and now it's apparently reversed because PS4 is having more squeaker issues now. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Were you playing I'm that Call of yeah, Duty Ghouls? Were you trying to get that KD up? Oh, God. But it's just Must be this because whole Outlast 2 situation. But yeah, this whole Outlast 2 situation just reminds me so much of why I'm fucking tired of butthurt people and the outrage culture in general. Because they'll find anything to get offended at. And, like, spoiled brats, they'll whine about it, whine about it until a company, a company will be like, okay, okay, we'll get you, give you what you want. And These nothing positive comes from it. But then, Pete, the gamers fought. They said, no, don't do that. And, and anyway, I'm just going to point this out, Australia. The people that really want to play Outlast 2 are going to find a way to play Outlast 2. Yeah, they're gonna either pirate it. They're probably gonna They're probably gonna buy a uh, a a, 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 a console or a piece a console outside of the region. There are fucking shit in the way to buy past the goddamn law. Mm -hmm. They'll find ways. They'll find mm -hmm. ways. Yeah, if they you really want, they'll ban, find a way. Like, you could try to ban GTA Five back 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 then when you know. Uh, when people were outraged by that game over stupid shit, they're going to find ways to play GTA 5. I don't remember Same what... Same for Outlast 2. I don't remember what company it was. It was probably a while back. I remember this very... Not... They, Australia or some... Uh, somewhat... Some region banned the game, and they're like, guys in that region, pirate it. We don't care. Just play the game, and if you enjoy it, support it somehow. And that was like, damn. I don't remember what game it was. I, I, I don't remember what game it was. Yeah. Fuck, it's gonna bother you now. I don't remember. Um, well, damn, we, we've been cruising on this. We're, we're at the 20 minute mark. Um, but yes, I'm going to buy out last two. I was going to buy it regardless of the sexual violence was put in or put out or whatever. As someone who's played mostly every single Manhunt game, I honestly don't give a fuck about violence anymore. Exactly! We're, like, we fucking sat through Manhunt! <laughs> yeah, fucking Manhunt. Granted, <laughs> that game got the banned too, but... <laughs> well, the second one got banned in the US. The, other, the first one didn't. It was very strange. You strangle a man with a paper bag, but we're focused. <laughs> but when a man gets raped, that's when we fucking cross the line. <laughs> and, you know, I, yes, I get it, rape's bad, but for fuck's sake, it's the video game. And again, the parent has it's the option like, to not allow not the like... parent to bu the or. The parent has the option to not let the kid buy the game. Here's the thing, it's not like it was like you don't see the mushroom tip or anything, do you? What? Uh, I you don't, don't see like been anything. A clip about it. Okay, so it's like what if it's what if it's just what if it's like not entirely explicit? 
I think, yeah, I think you just get the idea of like, oh, I just got raped. Oh, wow, so, yeah. what fucking show hasn't done that shit before? Exactly. Um, And again, I like Grand Theft Auto. Does it, I don't know, Gulas, you haven't played through all the way of GTA Five, have you? I played some of it. Do you care if I spoil I a mission? No, nah, I don't. Okay. Matt, I'm pretty sure you played through all of GTA 5. If you haven't, what you doing? Yes, I have. Okay. Yes, I have. Okay. Everybody, I'm pretty sure everybody that's ever owned GTA 5, if you haven't played through the single player, y I don't give a crap. Skip, like, t a minute it's ahead. fucking 10 year olds who want to play the one online one. <laughs> it... <laughs> nah, that's a bad thing to say. But... There was a damn torture sequence in that game. You torture a man. That torture sequence was fun. That torture sequence was fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jesus what the Christ. Fuck? The man, well, Trevor, waterboarded a person. And we're worried about this. <laughs> Electrocuted well, the balls. Mind, <laughs> mind, he actually did ban GTA 5 in Australia. Well, at least Target did. I'm not sure about the rest of the stores in that country. I'm not certain either, know. but again, ghouls, people are stores, gonna find yeah. a way, and even if they didn't, they're gonna watch it on YouTube, and so your job was completely pointless then. That whole law does absolutely unless, nothing then. Yeah, unless you actually go deeper down the hole and actually use, utilize censorship, which if you do, you're fucking stupid. Then what you would have to physically do is... is block Outlast 2, like, via, uh, like, uh, YouTube Australia or something, I guess. And who the fuck is going to waste their time on that? Uh, the no bad one. thing is that censorship is going to get a lot worse as the years go on. I remember, like, in grade school, if we, like, I mean, like, censorship was, like, a big thing. And now people are like, well, you can't say that. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck? It's Things ironic, change. isn't it? I'm not I, even I, saying like that, said, guys, like, the sex or the rape or whatever isn't bad. I'm not saying that it is bad, but banning it is wrong because that is work done by three dudes. What do you learn from it? What do you learn from it? Nothing. Yeah. You have to be shielding it from people, but they're going to eventually find out. And then what happens when they see oh. a rape crime on the news? Oh, damn. What's this? Oh, someone got oh, raped. What's the sense of that fuck. shit? Just don't say the word rape anymore. <laughs> oh, what yeah, kind of word rape? Taboo. Yeah, it's gotta be taboo. Oh, yeah, Ooh, you two pivots. Matthew, you um, like that story. Uh, <laughs> the YouTube healers are coming after me, all right? Oh, fuck. Yeah, you must hell. never. There's a couple words you should never, ever, ever say. You should never say SJW. You should never say, uh, not. You should never say Nazi. Feminazi. Unless, uh, yeah, unless. You should never say Nazi <laughs> unless, uh, you. Unless a person disagrees with you. Then call them out on it, apparently. Uh, you should never call. You should never say rape. You should never say a lot of things, apparently, nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Small story. A bit of a, like, detergent, divergent, eh, whatever Ugh. word. Um, when I was walking today on the radio, I heard, you know Tool's song Prison Rape? Yes. Like, that song? I heard on the radio, and they censored each fucking word that had anything to do with rape or any, like, any um, violent act. And the song was fucking ruined for me. Like, it sounded so weird. And they didn't only... Like, it wasn't such a... Like, they fucking blocked out the word. They sped up that fucking sequence of the song. Oh, <laughs> God, why? They sped oh. up the sequence so the word wouldn't, wouldn't be um, audible. Well, and that actually... Horrible. That actually could be depending because... Does it... Uh, it, it says fuck, doesn't it? Uh, shit sometimes, yeah. You can't say fuck on the radio, but I, then at that point... That's 
why are you even putting it on the radio? Ruined anyway. Yeah. But overall, this whole, like I said, this whole LS2 situation is just another example of how censorship ruins everything and how fake outrage ruins everything because, you know, oh, oh my god, you know, oh, oh, oh shit, something offensive happened in this game, let's ban it, let's ban it and just get rid of it, not teach anybody <laughs> a single fucking thing about it. Not use the fucking ESRB system that we fucking made. Back in the back in the days during Mortal Kombat, no, let's not use fucking. Yeah, let's just not, not yeah, use that yeah, fucking if, system. Let me let's tell you something right now. There. Let me tell you something right now. If this shit, if this culture of bot hurtness existed back in the nineties, so many things would have never happened. Mortal Kombat would have been canned. South Park would have been canned. WWF would have been super PC. You see what I'm saying? Like. The 90s would have been completely would have been ruined no by this fun. shit. Yeah, it would have been no fun because everybody's so uptight. Um, yeah. Everybody would have been so uptight. Mortal Kombat would be dead because, right. like, that dude yeah. grabs a spine out and you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Sub-Zero, peace to you for making the ESRB system fucking accurate. But no, here's my idea. Is why don't... Here, here's my yeah. idea for Australia. If you don't like a game, how about you ask that they can make it adults only in Australia? That means kids that put in the proper information online can't access it until they're 21. And if the parents are still sh shielding them at 21, they've got major issues they need to work out. Just or just yeah, make they are very good M parents that actually buy it. Just make it to where M-rated games aren't allowed to be bought by kids at all until they're like 17. Yeah, like we do it in America. Yeah. Yeah. But people still fucking, but parents still buy their kids fucking yeah. M-rated games because screaming children. Yeah. Wait, because... then, but even then, motherfuck, motherfuck, I, I played M-rated games at age 13 and I never had any the idea of Shooting somebody in the head with a sniper rifle? Nah, ghouls, you just so don't, don't just know it yet. When I was like fucking three, no, six. I think the six since I played when I played my first M rated game. I don't know what I was. I don't know what age I was when I played my first rated M video game. I do know when I was like eight, I played God of War, and holy shit, that fucked my world. <laughs> Uh, I played like in a more, um, how do you say this, uh, provocative, provocative game. Remember that fucking old three six, the uh, old Xbox game, BMX XX. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah, my cousin bought that game. I played it. Um, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stripper scenes, man. Yeah, like GTA 3, oh my god, GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas. Could you imagine that right shit now, happening in today's oh, modern oh society? Oh, Hot coffee? Go by. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto would have never survived. Neither would yeah. Resident Evil. Oh, I think Resident Evil would have been okay. It would have been sentenced to all hell, but it would have been okay. Motherfucking Dark Souls. That shit has a oh. lot of grotesque stuff in it. Yeah, you're right there. Gears of War would have never happened as well. God of War 2. The, the Dude, giant the grand fat abomination of with a shooters bunch of tits. Would have never happened. Yeah, yeah, there's like stuff that's way more grotesque and... Honestly, more offensive than the shit Outlast 2 is doing. But, <coughs> you know, they're getting a free pass. I think we've covered everything about it, honestly. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to go ahead, yeah, I guess, move on. All right, we're going to go ahead and right. talk about the Destiny 2 leak that has come out. Thanks to the Bravo guy over at the GameStop for uh, leaking the poster. Let's give that guy a round of applause and hope he gets employed somewhere because he just got fired. <laughs> well, I thought 
Oh. I thought they they were like doing one more DLC and then they're moving on to. The it's sequel. it's not a DLC. All it is, it's updating the like rage, and that's pretty much it. And then they're done. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know too much else. I just know the updating raids. I don't play the game, as you guys know. I'm not gonna get into like the whole um, uh, really Destiny Two I mean, and all that. It's fun. No, honestly, go- the game is kind of fun. If, no, if don't buy the game. More. Don't give Bungie a cent until they prove to you they can earn the damn cent. I was about to say, I I think the game would have been fun if they finished it when it first released. That's what I was just about to say. Do, uh, I repeat. I mean, it has gotten better. Just don't pre-order Destiny 2. Do not give them the access well, to this little well, you know, beta gonna, or whatever they're promising. The benefit of a doubt. I'm going to give them the benefit of a doubt and say that they'll learn from their mistake. Because this is Bungie. This ain't no goddamn it, Triarch. You're gonna have to buy the fucking season pass. This ain't no goddamn Triarch or Sledgehammer games. So I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. No, I don't give them the benefit I'm of the doubt because last time I them. gave them the benefit of the doubt after like the subpar beta, I'm like, it's Bungie. They're gonna impress. And then I got out of it and I said, well, fuck me. Well... Well, come on, you're kind of being a little bit well, again. You're kind of being a little bit unfair because that game hasn't even been, you know, officially announced yet. It's just it's been leaked, but hasn't been officially. No, because rules that no. I see gameplay, I'll judge it. No, Goose. There's a saying: "Fuck me once, shame on you. Fuck me twice, go fuck yourself." They fucked well, me once by. Okay. G- uh, listen to this, all right? They fucked me once. By me getting to buy the game and saying that they were going to fix it. They fucked me again by not fixing it. Whatsoever. And then fucking you again with DLC. Well, then again, you know, I can't... Again, I know Tyra doesn't like this excuse, but... Activision... You know, Activision, they're out to make money. If they're going to pay for, or if they're going to do overpriced DLC, then uh, fuck them. No, because Google's, Activision doesn't do that. They already, here's why it doesn't work. And I would have been okay with the de- with Destiny doing, like, the expansions or whatever. Like a World of Warcraft. Free. Look at what the, yeah. look what oh. Blizzard's doing with World, with Warcraft. They've made so many damn expansions for that game and just have said, no, we're not making yeah, another game. game. We're just like... going to make a constant expansion for it. And you can do that. I mean, yeah, it's like, it's like World of Warcraft's like 10 years old now, over 10 years old now, and that shit's still getting supported because it's like Wizards mag- Magnum Opus. It's like the one game they're known for. And then look at what, then again, you can't even say, look at Overwatch. I mean, you can say it's kind of bullshit. You have to pay 60 bucks to get into it, at least on consoles, or 40 on PC if you just want none of the skins or whatever. But then you have to pay 60 if you want, like, those, uh, like, six skins skins. and then the goodies for the other games. If you ask me, if you ask me, this 60 bucks, 20, 20 extra dollars just for a couple skins that no one uses is a waste of money. Better off buying a game forty bucks because that's uh, especially nowadays that's a damn steal. Because uh, I would have done the updates they've given, and it was bullshit that they didn't give Xbox and PS4 that option as well. I'm just gonna say that, but well, that's because you know they wanted to keep in tradition that console games are usually sixty bucks. So we're just we'll just go with the Origins edition and not so the and not so the the basic copy of the game eh. and you know keep in mind pc is fucking expensive so there's a reason why it's 40 bucks on pc <laughs> mm. but yeah because it's basically because pc is fucking expensive more so than consoles depending on what amount of power you want to put into your pc 
Yeah. Um, getting back on the topic, um, just to let everyone uh know, basically, if you do pre-order Destiny 2 from the looks of it, they're going to do another beta. Blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, don't pre-order Destiny 2. I mean, just don't. It's Bungie. They're going to fuck you. The they company, fucked you once. No, here's the thing. And they fucked you twice. Well, they never fucked us over. They never fucked us over when they made Halo games. But once they signed a deal with Activision, they, that's when everything went horribly wrong. Because so they know I they can get away that. with it. Because of all the pre-orders they had. I suppose. I'm just going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll wait and see. If it sucks. If it... If it's what you said, it's going. If it sucks balls, then oh yeah, I probably won't. I probably won't even uh, bat an eye at it. But if it looks genuinely interesting, if it looks like an actual improvement, I'll give it a shot. I'll probably rent it, not buy it straight out. I'll probably just rent it. And if I don't like what I'm seeing, then I can just uninstall it and never lay my eyes on it ever again. All right, Matthew, are you gonna get Destiny to a chance? Oh, but speaking of which, I hope this shit goes on PC. Probably not, because mm. it, it would take too much effort, and Bungie... Activision just lets Blizzard see. handle the PC sales. The beta. I would, I would look at their fucking early builds, as well as the beta footage, and decide off that. Because if it's like the first one... The beta is basically, basically going to be everything. And I'm also going to point this out to everybody. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Matthew. How many times has a loot shooter done... I mean, not, ever been good at the end? We always think it's promising in the beta and then get fucked in the full game. Does this include both first-person shooter and third-person shooter? Yes, with the division... And the fucking Warframe. Warframe is free and, and it's free. better than the Division Warframe, and yeah. Destiny combined. That, that's what I was about to say. Look at Warframe. That game's for free. You still have to pay microtransactions, but look at how much it's content free. you get just for playing the game free. And it's still in the Why beta stage. It's not even a full-fledged game. Why can't Destiny be like that? Where you have free updates. Why can't it be like Overwatch? Or freaking... You know, why can't it just be for free once you pay your 60 bucks? All right. We're going to move on because I know Matthew's really excited about this. I'm going to let him take the lead on this. Huh. Matthew, the Evil Within 2 probably getting leaked. And I want you to tell the audience why the Evil Within was so good. What do you mean? I still need to play already... Why... <laughs> Why do you think Evil Within needs a sequel? Tell the audience that at least. A sequel? Honestly, the way they end, like, um, fuck. If people who have played it actually seen the ending and actually been through like the whole story, did all the DLCs, gone through the fucking, uh, actually fucking gone through all the dialogue, all the fucking logs, and seeing the story progress and knowing, going as you know. Finding out that an inevitable boss battle is the thing that it is was so fucking fantastic. But the way it ended it is kind of like, okay, this is the end. There's not going to be a new one. So I'm not sure how they're going to make a second Evil Within unless it's a completely different storyline. Okay, and what separates it from other horror games, in your opinion? Other horror games? What See. what makes it so good to you? Hmm. It's hard to say considering with Resident Evil 7 being like the most recent horror game and like it being it blowing my fucking uh expectations out of the water, honestly. Like I did not expect such a good game out of it, but it was in two. It's opening sequence, like during its fucking um, open, like, during the release, it had such good graphics du due to its age, because it came out during the 360 era. No one expected it to look that good during the 360 era. Like, it seemed next-gen during the time, but 
the fucking stealth system was actually not that flawed. Uh, the shooting mechanics were actually not that bad. It wasn't tank controls, but it was like fluid and all that. Uh, leveling, leveling up system was either you had to level up this thing and focus on that specific level up. If not, you would just be all over the goddamn place like any other RPG, honestly. But The way I describe it is that it's what Resident Evil 5 and 6 should have been. Not to even take a shot at Capcom, mm -hmm. but it, it's what 5 and 6 really should have been of Resident Evil. I would have enjoyed Resident Evil 6 and... I mean, Resident Evil 5 and 6. If it was like that, honestly. I would have really enjoyed them. Mm. Uh, Goose, did you ever play Evil Within 2? I want Evil to, Within. but I didn't. It's really good. You should give it a try. DLCs are really good, though. I really like the fucking uh, Keeper. Yes, that one's a good one. Yeah. All right, so we got a ton of questions here. Though, kind of, I'm gonna save. You know, what, we're gonna we're gonna go off with this one right off the rip. This is the funny question, and a lot of these questions I do get while I'm at work. Uh, like a l only one of these questions was when I was just sitting there. I work for a grocery store, and I was checking people out, and I think to myself, all these dumb questions we can ask each other. This was one of them. All right. Under any circumstances, would any of you do a porno? And when I describe this, you can name the price. You can do whatever. You can name whatever. Then would you do it? If someone offered you three million, you only have to do it once. Would you do it? Well, if it involves... If it involves cosplay... What? <laughs> I did not expect that to be your kink. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm, I'm fucking with you guys. <laughs> but, uh, sure? fuck yeah, I'll do it. Pay, getting paid to fuck a chick? Ooh, <laughs> you may be seen as morally, <laughs> morally unacceptable, but who cares? You know? So I'm not kink shaming, I was just surprised. <laughs> I like this, Ghouls. So, Ghouls, if I offered you $3 million right now to film one porno scene, you would do it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what guy who... I mean, I'm being honest here. What guy wouldn't? See, if that's the correct answer. Hell yes, I, I would do it. Horribly wrong. I don't care if it's morally wrong. I mean, if... Yeah, well, if it's morally wrong, okay, you... Okay, I guess, but fuck, man. It, chick. Porn's not illegal. So... Unless you're 18. You know, if, you, if you're under 18, you don't need to be watching 18. that. I'm... Yeah, <laughs> unless you're <laughs> We know you're watching it, but who the fuck cares? Shh. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Like... Who wouldn't want to get paid to fuck a chick, you know? That's mm -hmm. a, Ghouls gets the answer. Matthew, are you doing it for three mil? Uh, it was yes, but it wouldn't be a high production because I I ain't dealing with no CDs though. Oh, it's got to be a high production oh, one. Oh. Yeah, like actual like I I'm, I'm not dealing with any CDs. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you gotta get like checked and everything. Okay. That's a good. Okay, you right, you right. I gotta add that exception too, but I mean, just the, yes, like she's clean everything. If I offered you three mil, you would do it. She's clean, everything's good. Yeah. Okay, but actually, since Jeffrey isn't here and probably would remind me to do this, you guys need to go to Loot Crate and use code NoTavern for an imaginary 15% off your order it's because we I want a goddamn sponsorship from Loot Crate. <laughs> Use code Nerd Tavern. They will eventually get the memo, and you can also tweet them at Loot Crate. I'm pretty sure that I'm just gonna go with that. And also tell Ghouls to make the video. Nah, I do it. You always said that, but you won't do it, Ghouls. How many episodes in are we? <laughs> I'm lazy. 
Ghouls, you got to do it because sense. people will watch, and then we can get that No Tavern sponsorship. Do you not want Gundam shit for free, Ghouls? I'm pretty sure the people at Loot Crate don't even know what it is. That's what they specialize they in. Is, but... Well, they probably know what it is, but they don't. I'm pretty sure they don't always give it out. Yeah, that Does not that always. But you get it. I've seen tons of people get shit. I suppose I'll I'll make the video whenever. Whenever. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move on. All right. Now this these these last couple questions. All right. If you could change one thing in the world right now, what would it be? Uh, not have. Let's see. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll just change two things. First thing is have Bernie nominated instead of Hillary. <laughs> and have him win the fucking election. There you go. <laughs> Problem solved. Okay. The PC culture wouldn't exist. Would have been in force, be you happy. know that, right? Oh, yeah, they, they probably would. But I'm just saying, probably would it be less. They could Relax. feel the burn. But, um... Right, what's the second one? But, uh, if we're talking about something that's not political, the one thing I would change is, uh... Bungie signing with another studio that's not Activision. <laughs> and, uh, Konami has a new C has a different CEO that wasn't a douchebag. <laughs> Ooh, cutting it deep right there. He hates Konami. If you guys think like my hatred right now for Ubisoft, he has the equally hatred for Konami. They fucked Kojima over. How many games of Kojima did you actually play, though? I played a few. Dawn of the Enders, Metal Gear Solid. Gross, he had very little impact on Zone of the Fucking Enders. Well, still, it's the game that he made, I guess. Alright, if I could change one thing in the world, I'm going to go with um, education system in America is fucked up. We need to fix that. Make college affordable. That's yeah, all I make want. make people smarter. Make people smarter, please, for the sake of the new generation. Don't. Cause we don't want to create any more f sensitive fags, please. Oh, ghouls, ghouls, you are straight fire right now, and I love it. And I'm not homophobic, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright, Matthew, what would you change in this fuck. world? What would I change? Yes. Let me see. I was only thinking about like the affordability of college, but since you said that, uh, let's see. You know what, Matthew? I guess you can have the education, but what? the education system really needs to be fixed. I would go back in time. Uh, I would change it to where Vince McMahon would not have Brock Lesnar beat the streak. <laughs> there you fucking go. Oh shit! Damn. There you fucking go. But then again. It would have been Roman Reigns then. Oh god, no. But I don't want either. Then I would change the one thing to where no Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar doesn't beat the streak. Those two people are banned from it. <laughs> or just have it go back in time to where Punk would have won. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But then, of course, he would have just got erased from history a couple uh, months later. <laughs> If they, I would have loved to see the world as CM Punk beat the streak. Oh my god. <laughs> invisible, invisible man beat streak. <laughs> hey, what, how, why did the Undertaker pin himself? <laughs> Wait, why did the Undertaker, how did he, how did he, is he, is he levitating or something? How is he, what's he doing? How, it looks like he's getting hit. Oh by, by god, he just went through the table by air. air. Oh god. This ghost is really fighting. Uh, the Crispin Wall memes never die. 
All right. Um. So, this one, all right, we got a two-part question here. Both of them are um, really the same, but all right. If you could uh, make a live-action anime in honor of the Death Note question I thought of, what other anime do you think could use a live-action adaption, whether it's a movie or a TV show, don't really care, and think it would succeed? Um, a game, video game movie that would would be successful, you say? Well, it's a live action anime, and then we also have a video game movie. There's two questions. Live action anime that would succeed? Uh, oh god, really easy to fuck it up. So, uh. Are you hockey show? Ooh, okay, okay. All right, I got mine. Matthew, do you have yours or no? Yeah, I think I have one. All right, you go. I'll go last. All right. I guess just because I've recently seen it, I guess maybe an anime called Saga of Tanya the Evil. It's basically like um, a reincarnated, maybe middle-aged man is um, reborn as a fucking little girl in a different time, different dimension and timeline. Basically, it's a parody of World War One, but there's magic and shit like that. Okay, I gotta watch this. What is this called? Uh, Saga of Tanya the Evil. It's on Crunchyroll, I'm assuming. Yeah. Not that bad, honestly. That was going to be a lot worse. But all right, all right. Um, just imagine a five-year-old girl becoming a fucking um, major in the army and fighting in the front lines during Damn. a parody of what is now World War One, <laughs> <laughs> And it's bloody as all fuck. Damn. All right, all right. But I'm guaranteeing this th this live action. It's going to be a movie. You're lying, April. I'm guaranteeing you that shit will dominate the box office with females. I am guaranteeing you're lying, April, would sell like a fucking hot cake in a theater. That would be the next damn La La Land. <laughs> I hope that there's a fucking movie that's gonna parry the shit out of it not fucking intensely thinking it's um your line april but making the exact same fucking storyline <laughs> <laughs> i'm telling you that shit would sell that would be the most, <laughs> that would be the most fuck you. like that would be the biggest middle finger to like the people who made your line april like oh did you know the americans made a movie of your fucking anime <laughs> and they caused something else like what the fuck did they do <laughs> oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. Try telling this to somebody in Japan who's like, "Hey, hey, did you know Canada made a a Gundam movie and it was terrible?" Oh God, that does not sound fun. Canada made a Gundam movie. I have to see this. It has to be just as good as uh, Gundam Sea Destiny. That's that's G Savior, and I watched it only two times in my life, and all. My God, it is shit. Cool. It is last shit. time you said a, a last time you said a Gundam movie. No, oh. being serious. No, being but serious, it's shit. It is absolute shit. Go watch you my say review Gundam of it. See it's Destiny horrible. is shit, and that's the greatest thing of all time. Dude, nothing good's come out of a live action anime adaptation. Nothing ever ever good happens unless I uh, actually know memes come out of it that's a good thing but that's the only good thing to come out of this fucking shit nothing good came out of that movie besides bad besides uh, one actress and that's it alright alright okay now alright will a video game movie all right, this is the next question. Will video game movies ever work? And if you say yes, you have to give a, an example of where it could work. 
Uh, yes. Look at Ratchet and Clank. That movie. Maybe I, I feel like, know, yeah, the, the it can work. Can I just made. feel like don't launch a game with it side by side next time. And then I would have really liked the movie. Yeah. I mean, it's, once you play the game, there's really no point into, into seeing the movie unless, you know, you just want to see what the movie's like. In because terms, literally, you know. it's the, you can't tell the difference between the movie and the game. Like, art, art style-wise, you can't which, tell the difference. Speaking of which, what the fuck happened to that Sly Cooper movie that's supposed to come out? I don't even know, <laughs> and I don't care, because that was not a raccoon. That was I don't even know what the fuck that yeah, was. That's awful. That was awful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they had like they had all of the original voices besides Sly's, and I'm like, what the fuck? That was the best. That was always been the best voice of Sly, and you're replacing it with some guy that does not sound like him at all. <laughs> but yeah, video game movies could work. You know, they can. They just no one tries. Look at the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh my god, that movie was awful. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say yes, it can work. Um, I am going to give a, a different answer. I'm gonna say Uncharted can 100% if you get the right uh, actors will 100% work. I, I'm I think Persona would probably work if they're if they keep Japanese culture tradition. But then you have the issues of okay, we're gonna try and make it as authentic authentic as possible, but so uh, we gotta have a bunch of Asians in the cast, and people will claim it as racist because there's a bunch of Asians. Actually, no. How can he claim a? Actually, no. How can he claim it? Claim it as whatever. <laughs> All right, culture, everybody. They get pissed off no matter what you do. All right, Matt. Can there be a good video game movie to you? Matthew. Yeah, fuck. Uh, it's hard to say because there's not a lot of examples, and the examples that they are were made to be shit. So, <laughs> fuck. If they have the heart and soul to do, and actually have like, the dedication to follow the game and like make it as meaningful. As the people who played the game feel, then yes, it could possibly exist, but I just do not see it happening, honestly. Alright. Alright. Alright, and so we are going to um go into the final question then. Alright, um if you could be the head of any game any game it can be something that's dead it could be something that's alive what would it what would the game be and what would you do differently with the game this one's gonna take uh, a little bit i imagine because i still don't even have a good answer on this hmm. just because it's recent i guess i'll try and answer with mass effect andromeda only because I really want to know the answer of what was that initially the problem, if there was constraints issues, or a timeline issue about like um, the small facial animations, like the small issues they had with the facial animations. Like, I want to know if there were constraints on what they could have done, or just like, oh mm -hmm. shit, it's too fast, we gotta do something about it, and maybe I would have. As a head, I probably would have delayed the game or just not announced it until like another year, maybe. 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 Yeah. Um. But now this is my dream game, all right. But I, I'm trying to think of a franchise that, I mean, I'm going to. I'm just trying to think of a franchise that it could work in. Um. We we'll take over The Witcher. I'm gonna say um, we're gonna make a new hero um, for, and I'm gonna take over Witcher, and I'm gonna make The Witcher Four. We're gonna be a completely new thing going on. All right. 
My idea for the game right. is to make speech to voice game. Whatever the hell I say, the character says. But, but and that would be the new dialogue that. options. Dialogue Dreamcast. options would be dead. Oh yeah, the Dreamcast was working on that shit. Forgot about that. <laughs> yes, but see, Sega Sega does with Nint Nintendo and what Xbox doesn't and Sony doesn't. That's why Sega needs like. Yet they still died off. <laughs> Yeah, but the or reason why it didn't off. succeed was because it only worked with a few games. <laughs> See, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I'm not even saying that. But that's you don't need to do it with just that. You can do it with just a headset or something. I'm not saying you're going to have to buy some fucking peripheral for it. I'm saying you're going to do it with a headset. I don't know how I would do it, Wait, but that's what I would do. Didn't Mass Effect 3 try to do that? With, like, the whole, like, um... It did the connect option, which shit. you would say what was on the damn prompt. Oh, then that's not really a fucking good option, then. Yeah. That was the better with connect. But, yes. Yeah. I would mm -hmm. take over The Witcher and make voice to chat... Or voice to audio somehow. I don't know how I would do it. You wouldn't need some special thing. As long as you have a gaming headset, it would work. All right, I think I got one. Okay, get ready. This is gonna be probably this is gonna be entertaining for you all. If I were to so, what's the question? If I were to change something in a game, what would it be? It was if it you could really take hit. over any game, what would you do different with take it? Over. Like in the next sequel. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Mighty number nine. First off, I would fire every single person working on the game. <laughs> and put in people that actually know what the fuck they are doing or actually, you know, can't get shit done. So you're firing the entire and... thing of Armature Studios is what you're telling me. <laughs> combos on combos. On combos, on combos, on combos, on combos. Yeah, because they're all because uh, I because clearly nobody at that studio knew what the fuck they were doing. That means Recoil oh, would have no. never been made, ghouls. But the team would have made it better. This new team would have made it everything better. So I would have hired all the best people around from the best colleges, or. Former employees that worked on good games. Uh, what Mr. game mechanics Wayne are you going to do different, though? Ass down. Let's see. Uh, make it more traditional. Get rid of the fucking uh, dash gimmick. You don't like the dashes that we use, ghouls? That was the only way I killed bosses. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, but we're going to make it more like a traditional Mega Man game. We're just not going to have that stupid-ass dash all the time. Are you going to keep the art style or go back to 8-bit? I would keep the art style. The art style is fine. Everything about the graphic, graphic of the game is fine. Just the gameplay is just annoying. But how, you got to fix the voice you know, acting. Uh, I'm sorry, shop, you got to fix the voice acting. Shop. Yeah, direct the voice. The voice actors are good. They just were directed poorly. I would direct them better. Uh, better music. Oh, God, better music. Uh... A shop where I can buy energy tanks and not have to do stupid shit like die a hundred times just to get your second tank. Have it to where have it to where the dash can still be implemented but not as an offense capability. Just Ghoul it just wants like it there so he can bum it. rush the game. Just <laughs> Just, just make it to kind of like Mega Man X, where it's just passive and not, and not like damaging. Now, yes, if and you want to see how much we charge. enjoyed Mighty Number no. Nine, there's a let's play. You can go watch it. Um, I hate the fucking cowboy stage. He's a piece of shit. It just, yeah, I'll probably fix a lot of things about that game. A lot of things, because so many things went horribly wrong. And KG and Funny can sit his ass down, because I'll be taking over everything. 
Because he don't know shit about what the fuck he's doing. And yeah. Oh, and I would probably introduce the charge shot. So, in favor, in replacement of the dash mechanic. Because, you know, that helps take out bosses faster. But, ghouls, it's better know, than yeah. nothing. No instant... No bullshit insta-kill moves when the, that the bosses do either. And no dialogue interrupting the boss fights. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I guess... Is everybody good to end this... This tavern? Yep. Alright, guys. Thank you. Remember said all the things we said. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully next week Jeffrey will be back. Um... Hopefully, um, by the time this, uh, video goes up, there will be more breaking news that we'll cover next week. Um, don't know, um, what's, hopefully Jeff will be back as well, because we'll probably, he's gonna be here actually Saturday and Sunday for WrestleMania, so hopefully on Friday we'll probably have this filmed. Um, and then, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. The tavern is officially closed. You guys can uh, go subscribe to Ghouls at GShadow007. He needs to make the video, though. Don't subscribe to him unless he makes that video, though. Um, nah, nah, you don't dic- Well, you don't dictate people to something or on something my channel. I dictate- uh, Don't subscribe. If you're a fan of me, don't subscribe to him unless he makes the video. Then if he does, you can go- All you need to go subscribe to him. Uh, yeah, guys, that's all we need to say. This is G Shadow saying, uh, have a nice night and don't be a sensitive prick. <laughs> huh. Uh, alright then. This is Matt. Fucking Gizmodo. No. <laughs> uh, you know what I am, you... and you know what? Eh, whatever. You get the gist. Yep. And. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to, starting tomorrow at Monday, uh, we're going to be going back into the world of Quantum Break so you guys can see my experience through that. And then me and Matt are going to have a special Dirk Souls 3 Let's Play that will go up for the Ring City. Um, and yeah, also let me know what you guys want to Let's Play down in the comments below because after Dirk Souls and Quantum Break, I have absolutely nothing planned and uh, you guys know I rely on Let's Plays to upload daily. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week for more Nerd Tavern. Um, yeah, see you guys next week. Peace.